Okay, hey, Corey here with the Art Archaeologist channel. So I wanted to show you guys I did an eco print. This has been a while now since I did these. I did these with cocoa brown writ dye. Believe it or not, this reddish color is this cocoa brown dye and nothing else. So um, I did flowers and I hope the camera is picking it up. It looks like it is. And the problem I had was that when you stack all the papers and you, you've got to keep them secure with all of your flowers and leaves inside, then I ended up with this border of color and not much inside. So today I'm going to build a stack with you and um, try something new. I'm just going to take a pipette and squirt dye onto each individual page after I place the leaves and stuff and see if that'll help. But I wanted to do a quick flip on these papers and show you how beautiful they are. I just wish I would have gotten more color inside. Every summer, I live in Colorado, so every summer um, I go out and I collect leaves. I keep a box of quart freezer bags in my vehicle and a squirt bottle and a cooler, a little cooler, and I will go around and collect diff all different kinds of leaves and I fill the bag with leaves and then I squirt all throughout the bag so that all the leaves stay moist and then I um, get all the air out and flatten them down and I freeze them for the winter. That's how I um, store my leaves. So if you live somewhere where you have the seasons and you don't have leaves in the winter, that's your solution. That's my solution. So um, I hope that helps you. Now this was at the bottom of the pan and it, some of these pages got kind of burnt, which I love. And I saw another video, I can't remember whose it was, but she had the same result. And every time I do a batch of any kind of paper, the bottom papers tend to be a little bit blacker, but that's what that's from. So I just love these. Some of them the dye got in a little bit better than others. I just wish it would have infiltrated more and given me more detail on the leaves. These are aspens and then I've got these little leaves all around my house. I'm not sure what they are and then I've got scrub oak all over. I've got these really neat kind of like, I don't know, like flower shaped, star shaped leaves. These came out really neat. I just want to get that color in there. So I'm going to try again. This is really pretty down here, this sprig. I'm going to do a sage batch. I'm just waiting for it to grow up a little bit higher. It's only like four inches high right now, the stuff I've seen. And I want it to be, you know, I want to be able to put, it's close. I want to be able to make journal pages so the page will be like this and then you can fold it over so I want the sage to be you know this is eight and a half by eleven so I'm, I'm wanting it to be nine inches I guess somewhere in there won't take but a couple more weeks so this is this eco dyed batch and this is copy paper it's nothing but plain old copy paper and here's the brand this is Georgia Pacific plain old copy I like it because it's thin and you just have to be really careful pulling them apart when they're wet and you can you will get some tear but if you're really careful it's pretty easy to pull them apart and uh, keep them intact and then I just iron these I'm actually going to scan these so I have them on my computer so I can make copies of all these too. So that's the paper. I'm going to go get the dye ready. Uh, here's the pan I'm going to be using today. This is plastic like chicken wire. You can pretty much get it at any hardware store and I just cut a couple pieces and I've never had any problem cooking it. I never cook, I never cook paper higher than you know I'll get it I'll get the water good and hot for I don't know 10 minutes and then I turn it down so I've never had any problems with this knock on wood so and then this is just a big roasting pan that I've devoted to doing papers with 
Now I went out. These are some leftover flowers that I got for Mother's Day. And they've held out so long, but they are on their last leg. And I will show you how I like to do that. And I got some dandelions and grass and other leaves and stuff in here that I just pulled from the yard for today. And I'm only going to do a couple of these with you. You'll get the idea. And then when I'm all done with this batch of paper, then I will um, do a flip through and show you. So this is how I start. I just start off like this. So let me go get the die. I'll be right back. So I used half a pack of this, like I said, the Rit Cocoa Brown. And I got this. You could pick this up anywhere. It's They have it all over. And this water is very hot. I just microwaved it for three minutes, and it is darn near two cups. And it might be too much water, but... Um, it's all going to go in the bath for the paper when I'm done. But for right now, throw that in there and toss it. Don't want to breathe airborne dye. So if you want to wear a mask, that's a great idea. This is a little pipette that I picked up. I, I got a hundred pack of these on eBay and I use these all the time for all kinds of stuff. So the plan here today is, and then when I fill this I'm going to put vinegar, some vinegar in there. I want to get that dye all dissolved in there. I'm just going to set this off to the side here. So my plan is this. I've got some little wire cutters here. They're probably overkill. I pulled all these off with the little stem attached. And the reason why is because I kind of want to have... I'm going to put the flower down. And then I'm going to put the stem in there like so. To kind of make it look like a bouquet. I'll probably put like a couple tiles on top of this to weigh it down. Now here's my plan. This is something different. I'm going to try it. I'm just going to squirt this dye. And you know what else? Oh, this is going to be a hot mess. Here's, I'm going to grab a squirt bottle. I will be right back. Okay, so I went and got my squirt bottle and some gloves. I figured I'd be somewhat responsible here. Uh, I'm going to squirt some of these pages, and then I'm not going to squirt some of them. I want to see the difference I can get with the dye. I'm just going to do a few of these to show you. Now also, oh yes, a couple more things I wanted you to see. Um, I, I have been seeing a lot of the people use onion skins, so I have a bunch of onion skins here. And I'm going to start throwing those in too. And then I also have... I have these beautiful flowers. I bought these for a friend who's in the hospital. He had a stroke. And um, he's he's in, hopefully he'll be out soon. But for now he's in the ICU and they do not allow you to take flowers in the ICU, which I didn't know. So um, I just went ahead and brought him home and decided to enjoy them for a few days. And now I'm going to go ahead and make them immortal <laughs> with the art. So I've got the onion skins and I've got these gorgeous little flowers and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, so then I'm gonna just throw, oh my goodness Corey, tags. I'm just gonna throw some pieces on here and just let whatever happens happen. Okay. I'll do a couple more pages with you. 
and then go I want to show you some of these great leaves I got I've got grasses let's do a grass page real quick that'll go fast oh I plopped a bunch of dandelions too I'll do those next I will set you free first okay the grass too I watched another video from a gentleman and he was like make sure your stuff's sticking out the edges so that the dye can get in okay I'll show you the leaves I got I got this crazy stuff growing all over my yard. That's what's kind of nice about the mountains. You don't necessarily, I just let nature do the landscaping. <laughs> I weed whack, but that's about it. I got these really neat, crazy looking leaves and they're already getting all limp. So it doesn't take long. So those are the leaves. Uh, you've seen everything I'm doing, so I'm just going to keep going. And then when, after I, I'm going to cook this, let me tell you what I'm going to do real quick because I can't, I, my kitchen is just not set up well for filming. So I'm going to put all these in here. Then I'm going to put either a piece of, I'll probably put a piece of wood on top and then a couple tiles on top of the wood. I have a piece of wood big enough to fit this. I want it consistent. And then I'm going to pour all of this in here and I'm going to make sure that all the water is submerged. So if I have to add, or all the papers are submerged, excuse me. So if I have to add water, I will do that because I want even the wood to be submerged. And then I'm going to add at least a cup of vinegar to this mix because the vinegar will make the paper, it'll keep the dye bonded to the paper. So I'm going to do all that and then dry them and iron them and I will be back to show you a flip through. I wanted to give you a quick tip on the onion skins. Um, I know a lot of people just buy their onions to eat and they save the skins and they build up a collection and then do this. I'm far too impatient for that. So what I did was I went to the grocery store and just took a produce baggie and I cleaned out the onion bin for them. I just took all the loose skins. I didn't pull anything off of the onions themselves, but I did clean it up for them. So I look at it as, yep, you get all your onion skins and you provide a service. So there's a quick tip for you. <laughs> batch came out really beautiful. Oh, look at that. to the bottom pages they tend to burn a little bit which I love because it burned around the flower here and you get some really interesting interesting um, stuff happening I use that I use a plastic grid and I'm probably gonna switch to metal I'm gonna go pick up some metal but I'm gonna do a whole batch with this grid 
this plastic grid because I just love this and I'd love to have a whole batch of paper like this so look forward for that also and then I just wanted to show you this was the very bottom or very top page that was on the under the piece of wood that I use and so it had flowers on this side and then this side it got kind of scorched and it's just such a beautiful grunge sheets and then I did this next batch which came out much paler and um, I still love it though I think it's beautiful um, now I used this die on this batch here and um, I also used a smidge of purple didn't really show up Um, this is, oh, I think I ripped the color off. It's like an aqua turquoise color. I ripped the color part off, but it's this, and it's Tulip brand, and this is just straight purple. And these are Anato seeds. I heard Nick the Booksmith talk about this, and these are seeds they actually use to dye stuff, and you get this yellow color. It was really pale, and I didn't like it very much. So I ended up throwing this dye in with the Anato seeds and I got this super earthy green color here. And um, so that's how I got that color. I just mixed turquoise dye with Anato seeds and got this. So I'm gonna flip through these real quick and play some music. And I used this Rit Golden Yellow and this Tulip, um, just it's just called Purple. Uh, same process I did with these. Nothing different except the dye colors. So let's get rolling with this batch.
Okay, so in this batch, um, the ones I just showed you were my faves out of this batch. And um, I used probably, I did use the whole um, thing of the yellow because I wanted the yellow to show up really well. And I squirted yellow inside as I did each page. And it didn't come out as brightly yellow as I wanted it to. So um, I would recommend doing alum on these sheets. This this is copy paper. Again, I'm always using the copy paper for the three flips I just showed you are all copy paper. So I would recommend using, um, giving these a coating of alum. Or you, you can use a couple packs of the RIT dye, but that gets, you know, it can get pricey pretty quick. But this whole, this little pack did all these papers. So it's really not that bad um, cost wise. And then, so those are the faves. This is probably my least favorite batch, these yellow ones out of the three. But I still really love these too. And these will. I will use every single one of these. Um, now here I did, I wanted to experiment. I did a few pieces of watercolor and here's how they came out. I'm going to flip through and then the bottom, oh guys, my mistake. This, These are my least favorite that I just showed you. And then I'm going to show you the watercolor papers and then at the end of the watercolors are my most favorite. So the this you know each batch is totally different and some of them see that it's got this big hole in it and um, I don't really mind that I think it kind of adds to the character of of this this eco dyeing I think it gives it some age and some rusticness so I don't mind that at all okay. So this one was the very top page of the stack and this corner got missed entirely. It's kind of an, it's an okay grunge page. I'm not thrilled with it. I really don't care for it. And then this side is pretty interesting. I just wish that it would have followed through over to here. Um, cause then I could have had a full page of this, which I think this is all really beautiful. So what I may do is just use this for pockets. Those are the flips of the three batches. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be back soon with the kits. So keep an eye out for those, okay? Thank you. Have a great day.